Serious gaming. Yeah. The monitor came with the wrong kind of cable. This is all wrong. So I've ordered a new one. So a few more days until I have a computer. Now, fuck technology. I'm gonna paint traditionally. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be fun and great. And I also have this mess to take care of, but I honestly, I'll do that later. So here's a funny oopsie that I did. In my effort to get it to work before I realized it, and by realized, I mean, I asked my boyfriend and he said it was wrong. Uh, in my efforts to get it to work, I screwed it in really tightly and now this little, I forget what they're called, uh, but this little thing came out. So that's just fantastic, but I think the computer is going to be okay without it, it's just, yeah. So I sat down here with the intention to paint. I sharpened my pencil, as you saw, and then I just felt so tired from all the computer logistics excitement that I just didn't have the energy to draw something out. So I just did these swatches and it was a really nice time. That cup or mug you're seeing there has a hazelnut cappuccino, which was really delicious. And uh, I was just watching or listening to uh, Drawfee and just swatching away. So the paints I'm swatching, I don't think I told you, is a selection. It's the three primary colors from a set of uh, Royal Talons gouache paints, magenta, cyan, and lemon yellow, and then some select paints from the Arteza 60 gouache set. Because I, I bought that set because I'm all about convenience, and it's convenient to have that many shades just ready to go. But it's even more convenient when you have your paints ready in a palette and you don't have to squeeze them out every time. So that's why I set this up. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta lay down on the floor for a bit. I just had therapy on the phone. It's good, but it's hard. It's a lot. Now I'm trying to decide if I should try to take the rest of the day off 
because I tried to not put pressure on myself on therapy days and have some rest or if I should not do that. I really want to get certain things done but maybe I'll take this time to do personal, personal work. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of energy to go through therapy. But it's something I think pretty much everyone needs and it really sucks that it's not accessible for most people. Capitalism makes our mental health a lot worse. And then capitalism also makes it really hard to access treatment for it. It's a really bad system and it needs to go. That's my, my opinion. I collect garbage. I do this because I am very frugal, very environmentally conscious, mostly frugal. So I've decided that I'm finally gonna deal with a lot of stuff that has just been sitting in my closet. So some of this I'm gonna, uh, if it's thin and bendy, like this Coca-Cola box, uh, I'm gonna use it as drawing paper and it's gonna go in that cute little bag and if it's more sturdy like this energy drink box it's gonna be support for Patreon and Etsy packages and it's gonna go in this packaging bag I save and reuse stuff because it just, it makes sense to do. So apart from scissors, I also have two size envelopes to use as guidelines. And a, oh, it was two. I was gonna say an A4 sheet of paper if I wanna cut a bigger one. And this is a really good art hack for you or craft crafting hack this is a cutting mat made for food and not for crafts but it works fine for crafts and cutting mats are really expensive but this baby came in a pack of two from ikea and it was like maybe one or two pounds british pounds which I guess was the currency I decided to go with. I don't know, I can't say prices in Swedish currency because, I mean, who, who knows what that means? I barely do, because it changes. So this was my self-care on my therapy day. I listened to this podcast and painted and I strongly, strongly recommend that you check out this podcast, World Gone Mad, about the crisis of capitalism and mental health, because it really helps you to understand how capitalism uh, makes us feel really bad, and ultimately we need to build a better world in order to feel better. Um, I just also want to talk a little bit about Trotsky, 
just for a couple of minutes. Uh, but um, I painted him because on August 20th, it was 80 years since he was murdered by a Stalinist agent. And we held them in to uh, celebrate his life and ideas. And his great contribution to the struggle was to defend the ideas of genuine Marxism against Stalinist bastardization. And for that, obviously, he was hunted down and eventually murdered by Stalin. Stalin was a criminal and Trotsky was his most dangerous witness. Stalin exterminated everyone who had their own memories of what actually happened during the October Revolution and thus could uh, prevent Stalin from building the myth of himself as a hero of the revolution, which he wasn't. Uh, Trotsky's, Trotsky's writings are really valuable to us today also as exercises in dialectical materialism and uh, helpful tools to uh, guide us in the struggle. So I just, I wanted to paint him because of that. It's a new day and I finished Trotsky on the sofa last night because I just wanted to be comfy once it got to be like 10 p.m. I moved to the, to the couch. I used one too many colors because I got overexcited and uh, that's just, that's my bad. It's a mistake that I technically know better than to make, but oh well. So, since I have this sketchbook out, I can also show you my... So this is where I've been working on ideas for a Perdido Street Station illustration. But what I'm gonna work on now is the kitty kitty portrait for my patron so i'm gonna get to work on that constantly contend with is accepting that I am limited and knowing 
that when I get tired, I'm not being lazy, I'm being disabled, and I should listen to my body when that happens. So I have an idea now of what I want to do for this pet portrait, and I'm gonna lie down for a little bit. If you, if you want to hear more of my thoughts about working with and around my limitations, let me know. I don't know that I have any like answers or advice, but I could just share my thoughts and my experience if you want. But I'll talk to you later. I had a nap. It was pretty good. I feel a little better. I've had some lunch, just plain toast because my tummy is feeling a little fuzzy. Now I have a new cup of tea and I'm gonna keep sketching and doodling here and watch some chill videos. And 25 years after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the enemies of socialism tried to maintain that the Russian Revolution achieved nothing, that it was all a disaster which it would have been better to avoid. This is entirely false. <laughs> tired today. I did a lot of things yesterday, so that makes sense. I did hear back from my patron, and I know how I'm gonna paint his cat now, and I was... I really want to do that today. I think it's going to be really cute, and I'm excited, but I'm currently way too just slow, as you can probably tell, so I'm gonna take it easy for a while and hopefully I get more energy later in the day. I, uh, I did bust out my uh, my nice watercolor paper. I bought this this block a year ago and I've used maybe half of it because it's uh, fancy 100% cotton and I get anxious about using expensive things. I'm I'm sure you can relate. Um, and I got as far as marking where the center is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. So I can uh, get the piece centered on the paper properly. Because that's something I often um, make mistakes with. And I thought I would not do that this time. I just wanted to pop in and say that because it's a vlog and I want to give an accurate, honest look at how my life is. And 
my life is that when I do a bunch of stuff, I I get real tired. Hello, it's editing pixie. I got slightly more energy, just enough that I figured I can just edit this video because my cable, my correct cable for my computer didn't arrive today, which I had hoped, in which case I would have edited on the computer, um, but it didn't. And this vlog is already pretty long, so you'll get to see next time how the kitty painting turned out. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, I will see you then. Shout out to my patrons and to my boyfriend and to my good friends and to my mom and uh, <laughs> I love you lots as a friend. Until next time, create something nice, drink water, read Lenin, wash your hands and goodbye.